What's going on guys? It's your boy Adjen Bagen for another other plane video. And for today, I'm gonna be sharing with you everything I know about Edelweiss. Her strength and weaknesses, her best build, her best team building, and yada yada. Just take note that these are just based on my opinions and based on my playtesting with her. So just take it with a big grain of salt. So Edelweiss is the newest three-star character to be added into the game and she looks kawaii yeah her design is top tier in my honest opinion she looks really really gorgeous uh, she reminds me of the waifu from uh, my dress up darling because of her blonde hair and the way she looks also of her face reminds me of that one but i really love her outfit yeah the ninja outfit looks really really good on her uh, it's just I'm just a bit disappointed with her skill set. Yeah. So we will be talking about that one. So Edelweiss is a uh, ranger uh, sub tactician. Yeah. Uh, usually ranger has uh, an insane amount of uh, base speed. They, they are the fastest characters in the game. So if you build her with uh, full speed, she can reach the 330 speed. That is how fast uh, they are, but I don't think it's really necessary to build her with speed. Let's take a look at her skill set first. So before I can uh, explain to you what are the best builds for her, uh, we have here the skill one, the ninja variety combo. This one is a single target attack, and this one at maximum uh, level you can get up to uh, fifty percent. Uh, chance to inflict unbuffable on the target for two turns damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health so this one has some hp scaling but this one the hp scaling on edelweiss skill set are poop yeah they are really really bad if you will see the wording on the skill descriptions uh, every time you see this uh, kind of uh, wording like the increases proportional to the caster's yada yada max health max defense something like that they are only having a, li a little bit of uh, scaling to this kind of damage this is not their true damage so the, the, uh, they are they are still uh, their damage is still calculated based on their maximum attack not uh, not with this uh, kind of skill set if the wording is something like this one from canon like this one Damage dealt increases proportional to defense instead of attack. If the skill description has the wording of instead of attack, then they are really scaling that their damage through something like here for cannon defense. So cannon is a defense uh, scaling uh, as a defense scaling on her damage. And uh, while Edelweiss has the also has some form of. Uh, HP scaling damage. It's not like the way. Uh, it's not like the the case with uh, the same with Canon. Uh, so this scaling is really really bad. Yes, and uh, you might uh, and you want to be building her as a bruiser, as a uh, tanky character because of her skill set. And without the proper HP scaling damage, she will hit very very less. Her damage is uh, not really respectable in my honest opinion unless you build her with pure attack which uh, I don't really recommend building because it's just a waste of uh, gears and uh, she, she, she does not hit really that hard. So this is the skill 1 and then skill 2 this is a passive effect. This one is really good for her. Uh, probably one of her best redeeming uh, skills. As a bruiser, as a tanky ranger. Uh, this one, pass passive effect at the start of the battle, grants a ninja after image to the caster. When an ally is inflicted with a debuff, activates an agile response. And then the agile response removes one debuff from all allies and has a 100% chance to inflict unhealable on all enemies for 3 turns. So if your teammates got in click with a uh, crowd control uh, debuff or any form of debuffs it will trigger the agile response and then uh, she will cleanse the debuff from from your team uh, which is really good especially if you pair this one 
with Canon without uh, an immunity set. Uh, I've already tested that one in my previous uh, Edelweiss showcase uh, where Canon got frozen by Dahlia but Edelweiss cleansed the Priest debuff on Dahlia which is, uh, I mean Priest debuff on Canon uh, which is a really good combination of this uh, skill too for, from Edelweiss but there is also a but uh, this one, there are a lot of, I mean, there are two characters that you cannot uh, trigger Agile Response as of now. We have Demi, Blada, and Dahlia. If those two are the only debuffers in the opposing side, uh, you will not be able to use the Agile Response here because it will not trigger because they have a skill that prevents uh, characters to use counter attacks on them or to use Agile Response on them. So just take note on that one. Uh, and then, uh, this one is also something like a double edge uh, skill set for uh, Edelweiss because this one has a built in Orius. If you don't know what Orius means, that is the term from Epic 7, the artifact from Epic 7, where uh, the one equipping that one will, take, will share the damage taken from your teammates. And this time for Edelweiss, she will take 25% of the damage dealt uh, to her allies uh, which is already which makes her uh, HP go go down really really fast so if you don't build Edelweiss as a tanky tanky bulky character she will die really really fast just based on this uh, skill 2 alone because in in arena there are a lot of cleavers and if you're team members got hit by those cleavers and they take a lot of damage most of their damage will uh, redirect to Edelweiss and Edelweiss will not survive that one she will just die like for an instance the combination of Demi Blada and Notia I've already showed that one in my previous showcase uh, Edelweiss did not last for, from that one she dies really really fast from that combination especially she is she has the type disadvantage against Notia. Really, really nasty combo, and uh, Edelweiss will not survive that one if you don't have really good bulky stats on your Edelweiss. Her skill 3 Minjutsu Water Sprout Technique. This one is an AoE cleave attack. Uh, when there is more than one target, ignores 30% of the target's defense. When there is only one target, ignores 100% of the target's defense, it steals all buffs. Uh, this one might sound really really good on paper but it's not really that good in my honest opinion because of her damage scaling since you're going to be wanting to build edelweiss as, as a tanky bulky character then this damage of her skill tree is just going to be very very low yeah it's not a respectable damage it's just a chip in damage but still uh, there is some uh, ignore defense still, still very low <laughs> that is why this one if only she scales through HP just like the way Demi Drakan and Kanon does she might be an OP character but it's not so it is what it is she just uh, I hate to say this word but she's just mid yeah she's really mid in my honest opinion just by playtesting with her uh, I'm sorry to Edelweiss fans, but the truth hurts. I'm also really disappointed uh, with how she turns out to be. But I hope that the developers will try to rebalance her skill stats and skill sets and make her just HP scaling damage, not just a uh, proportional to max health, something like this. They should just make her a uh, true HP scaling damage. Uh, her chain skill. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, it's just a recovery of uh, AP points. Uh, which uh, I'm not really a uh, fan of. Also, if you take a look at her transcendence, it's also really not that good. As you can see, at 4 star, plus 2% team accuracy. Very, very lame. Uh, 5 star, level 3 unlock, pretty common. 
a 6 star, another 2% ally team accuracy, which is uh, not really that good. Yeah, wow, well, it's really bad. Her transcendence is really, really bad. Although, still, you you might want to farm her shards uh, at, at some point for uh, to raise her stats a bit uh, more. Her trust level is, uh, I think it's mandatory for her. Her exclusive equipment is really, really good. This one gives her a, a, a passive 35% increase in HP. That, that is really, really huge. Uh, so it makes her a little bit bulky. And if you build her with really, really bulky stats, uh, she can go to a really high amount of HP. Now, what are the best build for Edelweiss? I've tested her with attack, a DPS build, the one with the attack set, the revenge set. Uh, I tested her, I, I was not able to record that one. I a speed set, which is lame. She does not really do well because uh, her skill tree is not really that good. Uh, especially if you just build her with speed, uh, with a very low uh, attack. She's not going to be hitting that hard. I tried to build her with uh, pure HP uh, in my uh, very first try of testing uh, Edelweiss. Uh, the HP build, the bulky one, is not really also good when it term when it comes to dealing damage. But when it comes to tanking, then you might just want to use a dedicated tank for that one. Uh, what do I mean by that one? If you want to just uh, take the hits from uh, the enemy. You can just use Christina and just and equip a Christina with the Charmer's Necklace. And this one takes more than damage from Edelweiss passive. This one takes 30% of the damage the allies takes. While in the case of Edelweiss, it's 25% damage taken. So if you're go just going to be using a tank, you might as well just use a dedicated tank, not Edelweiss. But if you're looking for a tank character that can cleanse, then Edelweiss is going to be useful for that one. I've been trying to test this one out on my arena defense with my cannon since my cannon does not have an immunity set. And if you're going to be taking that route, and I think that is the best build for Edelweiss, uh, it's the immunity build for Edelweiss. The other two piece set is depends on what you want or what what is currently available to you. Uh, if you want to be a bit more bulky, then you can use the immunity plus the HP set. Uh, but I'm using something like an evasion set. Uh, because I have the evasion necklace here that uh, if she evades an attack, she will heal some HP. So some form of HP sustain for my Edelweiss here. I'm not really sure if this one is working pretty well in my arena defense. But... I've already tested this one out when uh, I'm using her as a uh, as an op tank. It's okay, okay-ish, but uh, she still dies really, really fast. Since if you get hit by a lot of uh, attacks, especially if if you got cleave really, really hard, she will die just really, really fast. But if she evades, then it's really, really good. As you can see, the evasion is only 432. Uh, since evasion already got nerfed. Uh, it's not as OP as it was back then, but still it is some form of a defensive mechanic to the game. That is why I'm using an immunity and evasion set for my Edelweiss. Uh, you can also make uh, something like immunity plus weakness set uh, if you want your Edelweiss to take uh, more turn. Since uh, if you're we wearing some immunity set, uh, her speed will be sacrificed. You will have some uh, a little bit low on the speed side. So you might want to compensate that one since she's going to be taking a lot of damage from uh, the damage sharing from the from her skill too. So to increase her speed, you might want to be using the sweetness set pair with the immunity set. Immunity set is really really important in PvP since there are a lot of uh, debuffers in the game like Dahlia, Tamara and but immunity has a deadly rival which is the 6 star Demi Blada. You cannot uh, escape Demi Blada with this one because Demi Blada will just trip all buffs. 
That is how OP Demi Blada is. So yeah, still, it, not everyone has uh, a really strong Demi Blada. So she might still uh, work out uh, pretty decent in my honest opinion. If you're fighting a uh, an average uh, player, but if you're if you want to tackle uh, the uh, the top tier players in the arena rankings, then uh, I don't think she's going to be that good there. Now for the team building, since she's going to be a uh, bulky, tanky character, then that is her main purpose in the team. To soak up the damage and then to let your other team members survive. Uh, right now, I'm what I'm using in my arena defense is something like this one. Let us see. Oh, three wins, three, three losses. Really nice. This is my arena defense. Uh, I know not everyone has 6-star Demi Stella and Demi Drakan, But I think this one works pretty well for me. Especially also in arena opens. When, when I'm going for turn 2 teams. Uh, my cannon is built with uh, speed defense. This one has 3,000 uh, defense. Without immunity. And... Uh, the purpose of uh, Edelweiss here is the, to remove the crowd control uh, debuffs on my cannon if she got hit by uh, Dahlia's Priest. Uh, that is her main role for this one. Before, I'm using uh, Christina here to let my other team members survive. Survive the barrage of attacks from Demi Blada and Notia. Uh, but Christina does not have a cleanse and this team does not have a cleanse. So... My cannon is is very prone to priest debuff, so right now I'm using this one, which works uh, perfectly fine for me, and I think uh, probably it's going to work well with other characters. Now, if you don't have those characters like Demi, Drakan, Demi, Stella, you might want to use your main your best DPS. Uh, that uh, you might want uh, to be protecting because uh, Edelweiss can protect your team by letting them survive uh, a bit more with her uh, passive effect, the damage sharing. And I think uh, she can uh, tank pretty well, but that's just it. If you're looking for damage or some other utility from uh, Edelweiss, her utility is just tanking and uh, letting your other members survive and cleansing the debuffs if she managed to survive the attack. Now, is Edelweiss a top tier character? Definitely no. As I've said er earlier, I'm a bit disappointed with her and I really don't want to say this word but she is kind of mid. Yeah, Edelweiss is mid in my honest opinion. I hope the developers will try to rebalance her skill set and just make her a pure HP scaling character she's not a mass summon in my honest opinion she's only going to be a mass summon if you love her design if you love her personality if you love her character that is the only way or maybe if you're just a uh, pokemon uh, collector uh, that is the only way she's going to be a mass summon but right now she i cannot say that she's a mass summon air is more, way more than uh, a mass summon than her because we have here three banners, Edelweiss, Stella, and then Air. Air is the mass summon out of these three. So if you don't have Air, just go for Air. Don't don't waste your resources on Edelweiss. Uh, because Air is really, really darn good. Well, I think that's it for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you can help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.